Hello and welcome to today's video. Today we are here and it's episode number three of our NASCAR Heat 5 a truck series season. There we go. That's how we're doing today's intro. And today we got Eldora Indy Road Course in Martinsville. So let's see if we can get some more wins on the board. Uh, we haven't had the most success in the last few races. So we'll get a few more wins as we push towards the playoffs, which begins in the next episode. That should be that should be good. Again, getting some points. Building up uh building up a lot of that uh point total is important. I mean, I don't really remember the race that I put the playoffs, so I want to make sure I have a good good shot at winning that championship. Because ultimately throughout this uh you know, out the series, we have, you know, three three championships we're working on. Definitely want to, uh, you know, try and secure, secure all three of them. That'd be, that'd be very, very cool. Uh, we'll see, we'll see how we do. So we're on our qualifying lap here at Eldora. I want to make sure I'm towards the front. This is the race that I should do good at. Eldora's track I typically pull up and win at. So let's see what we got across the line. Just off pole, second place. I mean, a bit disappointing to not get the pole, but starting second, we're on the outside. We can. Uh, make a good run out of here so oh we're not doing stages oops that's fine i was considering dropping stages with the trucks as well so works out um all right majeski is that majeski that majeski is inside here pushing us up the track we're trying to catch shell the creed We'll let Majeski go to the top here. Get a good run on the bottom. Good run on the bottom. Brilliant. That should put us in a good spot. We're going to get by Creed. Take the lead here. At lap two. Now we go into lap three at Eldora. I hope you guys have been enjoying the uh, NASCAR Heat series return of that game to the channel it's been uh you know it's been fun to sit down and record these games um you know it's a little a little different i haven't really committed to a solo series in a while so it's definitely fun to do um, typically each week i kind of just, like put out a video you know put out a few things uh, of course we have our racing series with you know, one day doing the GTA Race Plus, GTA Racing Masters, and the monthly mini series. Um, like, so we're working on those, and obviously we have other new series that are coming out. That we're gonna dive more into on Wednesday with the, or we dived into Wednesday with Race Plus. So if you missed that last week, All right, clear low. <laughs> uh, talking about Gran Turismo 7 and F1 23, doing more series of that, but. You know, it has been fun doing a solo series. I mean, obviously that was a key part of this channel, really, until, you know, a few years ago when I kind of stopped making as much content for a little bit. Uh, but, you know, as we've dived back into more content in the last year, it's definitely been fun to kind of explore that and see how the series goes. I mean, you know, we'll see how the schedule shakes out when we all those new series, but I'm not against, you know, doing a little bit of NASCAR heat. It's fun to get some NASCAR gaming on the channel, uh, which is not a lot of abilities to do that with the 
lack of quality console games, uh, it's hard to make a good video. It's hard to make something fun. That's why we're playing NASCAR Heat. Probably the best that we got. I mean, I'd like to get an iRacing. It's definitely expensive, though. Um, and my computer can't really run NR2003 well the mods. Because uh, my computer is not built for gaming. So, it, it can handle the output of these videos very nicely. You know, but it, it's not meant for gaming. So, there we go. Win at Eldora. We'll take it. Good to see. Good to see. Get us three wins on the board. Uh, in the truck series, we did a lot of racing in the last few episodes that were tracks that were ones I hadn't won. And as we head to a track that's one of the successful tracks, nice to uh, get some of that winning going because last week's episode we had zero truck wins in those three races. So. It is nice to come in here and get a win and uh, win at a track that I definitely enjoy racing. All right, let's move on to the Indy Road Course. Let's see what we can do there. Well, we're here, we'll take a look at what tracks are featured in the playoffs, because I was talking about that at the beginning. Um, all right, so next episode, we'll have New Hampshire, Watkins Glen, start the playoffs at Talladega. They have Charlotte Road Course, Darlington, and Holmes, or, yeah, Charlotte Roval. So, I mean, honestly, the only track that I'm genuinely worried about of the ones that are left Is right here with Homestead. That's the only one that I'm like, ooh, that's gonna be tough. I don't remember how well I race at Homestead, but everything else, I mean, I'm pretty confident. I mean, it doesn't mean I'm gonna win them all, but I'm confident in my racing ability um, at those tracks. So, Indy Road Course is up next. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, road Courses are some of my favorite tracks to drive. Road Courses and Short Tracks I'm good at. So, you know, when we see them pull up on the schedule, I mean, obviously, I All right, be smart out there. Going made sure there was a good amount of them. We did Indy Road Course, I believe with cup cars last no week so I believe it was cup cars All clear. All clear. No pressure from behind. Ooh, stay on the inside of that curb fuck we learned that from last night race here didn't you? there's a few spots that you get penalties I thought I had both tires on the curb uh, evidently the game did not agree with that assessment Unfortunate, but the one that really caught me out was that shit. That shit caught me out because I did not cut that corner. I did not cut that corner. I put my wheels on the grass, but I did not cut the corner. Uh, I still had tires on the pavement, if that's what we're going to define the racing surface as. The racing area. It's the same as a curb. I had my tires on no on a curb here. It's the same exact thing, just no curb. Uh, that caught me out in the last one as well when I raced here with the cars. So no I was going to actually talk about it, and then I drove over it. So, you know, that separates us a little bit from the front. I mean, I think I can definitely close in here. We just got to not have those penalties pop up again that's really what's gonna potentially hurt us uh we can't get a penalty with that for something dumb i mean 
The first one with the curb. Okay. I mean, I don't agree with it. I don't think that... I think I was on the curb. Maybe I was on the wrong side. Uh, we're going by those rules, which I don't really know the outlines of track limits in the NASCAR games, and I wouldn't like an F1 game. But, I mean, if you keep a tire on that curb, I guess you got to have your... If your left side tires are too far over. Which, I mean, I guess this game probably has its issues, so it probably just says, oh, your left side tires are over the on the grass, so I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, see, I took the same exact line a second time, basically, because those, that tire mark through the grass was from me. I got the penalty, and then I was basically on it. Oh, boy. Close to sending it there and spinning him out. Austin Wayne Self, but we kept it. We're good. Jordan Anderson, Tom Majeski, next two to pass. We definitely got stuck a little bit further back. Again, due to those penalties twice in the first lap, but gave us a little bit more of a challenge. We got Riley Herbst up here, way off in the grass. Stuart Friesen. Why are you blocking so aggressively? Two at the line. I will send you. Careful, still there. All clear, no pressure from behind. All clear. All, All right, clear. so we got no Stuart Friesen. All right, caution is out. That really, really puts us in a good spot. I, I wasn't sure if I was going to catch everybody. Honestly, it's two laps to go. But as we come here into overtime, Grand Amfinger next driver to pass. Side by side with Super Christian Akis on the inside there as well. Ben Rhodes, Matt Crafton, Grant Moffat, Johnny Sauter, Sheldon Creed, Rafael Lassard. Get by them. John Hunter Nemechek, Austin Hill. All drivers in front of us. Ross Chastain as well. The Tanner Gray, maybe? I don't know, dude. Yeah, that definitely put us in a good spot, though, to go for this race on this last lap compared to where we would have been. Going into it. Ooh! Spencer Boyd. Nobody Only out. driver left to pass. Right over those curbs. A little bit into the grass, though. That front tire, dude. That's that's something to keep an eye on here. Uh, we already had one truck race at a road course that we should have won that we lost uh, with Mid Ohio. Took a corner and our tires said no. Um, which took us right into the gravel and honestly out of the race because I think we crashed too hard or something after. So we'll see. Twenty-five percent now. That was at about seventeen when the truck just drifted into the gravel. So, we have to be careful in some of these corners here. Want to slow it down on time. Make sure we can get our truck around here, but also make time to, you know, pass for this win. Um, tires are a problem. He's telling me now. You can see as we go through this corner, this truck is just not feeling it. Of course, that means I can't be as bold into these corners. Oh my god. That's incredible. Another top five. Damn. I couldn't break. I tried. Spencer Boyd wins. I just I didn't have the brakes that those tires not having any grip. I just slid. 
and uh, that definitely affected our, our race finish. I guess Spencer Boy went so far into the grass that they called a caution. Um, and I couldn't get going. I probably could have passed him, but... All right, next up is Martinsville. We got three wins, though. So I'm I'm good either way. I'm not not worried about it. Uh, I mean, it would have been nice to win Indy, but you know, we'll we'll take the loss, I guess. Um, I don't know if I would have caught up anyways. So second's probably better than I would have got had that caution not came out uh, the first time. So. You know, I'll take it. Uh, with no stages, uh, I'm not gonna qualify here. Martinsville, I'm not too concerned. Um, I can drive my way through this field. Bottom clear. Hold your line. Got one inside. Clear to the right. All clear. No pressure. We're gonna buy every single truck basically here. To the inside, John Hart Nimitrek. That was good. That was that was definitely good. Um, last time we were on a short track, it was Richmond, where I almost won it. Got into the banking, or I uh, got off the banking onto the apron a little bit and spun, or uh, got sideways going towards the finish of the last lap. Uh, super disappointing because Richmond's a track I never have one at so that one that one hurt um, it is interesting though seeing how you you know maybe approach these seasons a little differently uh, depending on when that win comes when you win that first race you kind of kind of ride here a little bit more um, again for me as I've stated in all three videos uh, of each series I want to win two races, get that out the way. Um, and in trucks here, we've gotten three. So, you know, it's, it's important to get that, uh, you know, get those wins out of the way. Because in some of the other tracks, you don't necessarily need to race as hard, as wild. Um, as you, know, you can see here, Martinsville. We're definitely going to the field, but... I didn't need to qualify because I wasn't in a spot where I felt like I had a risk and I had a, you know, something to really, really fight for. Because again, I was already, I'm already qualified for the playoffs, got three wins, 90 points, so. You know, it's one of those things that... Ooh, Ben Rhodes with a cut down there. Okay, okay. Then if we go in the next episode, go to those two races, what is it, Hampshire? And... Watkins Glen? I think? Maybe? Or... I don't know. I know it's New Hampshire. I don't remember the other track. I got on that curb and spun way too much. Um, definitely took too much curb there. Way to the high side. That was brilliant. Somehow running the high side of Martinsville in the video games works. Oh fuck, this my truck. Pretty bad. Damn. The thing that I always remember from Martinsville is I did a video, I uh, had a little bit of time when I was 
trying to grow the content and I was like, okay, let's do some, let's put some videos on TikTok, right? I was putting a lot of the shorts. Um, Five laps to go. Before scheduling videos and that got just way too long. I was like, all right, I'm out. But for a little bit, I was doing content. And I think it was Saturdays I had specific videos that were just TikTok exclusivity. And there's like three or four of them. Okay. And it was the, I did Martinsville because it was NASCAR playoffs last season. And it was Martinsville. And I was like, okay, let me pick a, just a driver. I'm going to do NASCAR ignition. And NASCAR ignition, your car breaks instantaneously. And so something happened with my tire. So I ended up just wall riding Martinsville the whole way. And then the next day, Ross Chastain did his Martinsville wall ride. And it was just so wild that I literally put out a video doing it and making it work. Because I did it and I like won the race. I mean, he didn't obviously win the race. I think he got like, it was enough to make the next round of the playoffs. But um, it was still one of those things that it was like, I made this move, I did, I, I wall ride the whole thing in Martinsville because my car couldn't turn. It's kind of like now how the truck's just like saying, nah, you're good. Or nah, I'm good, I should say. Because this thing's just not turning. It's not, it's not turning. We're not making Got one down low now. the finish. I'm going to wall ride this shit right now, watch out. You got room, you're clear. Fantastic job, great win. Okay. By the way, I did it in NASCAR Ignition and it worked. <laughs> uh, well, so that that's our video. Um, okay, so it is Watkins Glen. It's New Hampshire and Watkins Glen to finish off. So next episode, New Hampshire, Watkins Glen, and then we begin the playoffs in Talladega. Bro, I cannot believe that. I was doing so well. Who won that race? Matt Crafton was literally leading. Who did win? Austin Wayne self. The game. Okay. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you guys in the next one.